Om Shanti, we are here with the 23rd of September's Godly Blessing. To have an unlimited attitude and that's what God is teaching us today. That when we think of ourselves in terms of our religion, our caste, our creed, our own uh, ethnicity, our language, we believe that we are supposed to support only these people. And this category of people or this this conglomerate of people or let's say we want to support this idea and we go against everything else right so god here says that may you be a master world benefactor with an unlimited attitude the same as the fathers because father supreme creator he looks at everything from top and for him everyone is his creation his child his creation but for us when we are in this physical world we start making people or we start putting people into categories, into boxes, and we then actually bring about aspects of jealousy, aspects of greed and ego and hatred and many more things. And that's what God is saying, that to have an unlimited attitude means to have an attitude of benevolence for all souls. This is being a master world benefactor. Let your attitude of benevolence not be just for yourself, or the limited number of souls, that means our family members only, for whom you are an instrument, but for everyone, that means the whole world is my family. Yes, some people don't believe in that, some people don't behave like that, so it's important for us to protect ourselves, but not by harming them. So those who happily progress with contentment in their attainments, those who happily progress with contentment in their attainments are self-benefactors. However, those who have an unlimited attitude and remain busy doing unlimited service are said to be master world benefactors. The same as a father. So when we meditate, when we take this knowledge, we can make ourselves content. We can be content with ourselves and we can be self-benefactors only. That is limited. But when God says that when you think of others, when you think of others' pain, others' suffering, then you can become a master world benefactor. The same as the father. Father is the world benefactor and we become his child creation. And we become master world benefactors. Now how do we do that? How do we increase a span of, in, of a vision? That means our horizon should increase. Our thought patterns should change towards the world. For that one has to go through soul consciousness, a method of realizing the self, become more soul conscious and that will inculcate more of world benefactor thoughts as compared to self benefactor thoughts only. To learn more about it, do visit a Brahma Kumari Center for the same. Om Shanti with this.